So first of all, let's talk about why orgasm is so powerful for manifestation. So at the orgasm is like us at the peak of our energy. So it's also when we are the closest to source or God or spirit. It's when essentially at the moment of orgasm, you are dissolved into the quantum, right? So you, you, you're, you have reached to the highest frequency that is possible for you. So when we're talking about manifestation, right, we manifest what we're a match for. And that means we manifest on the frequency that we're vibrating on. So if we're vibrating on a frequency of fear, then we will manifest fear-based things to come to us. So like, this is where people say, oh, like, oh, I was worried that that guy was going to do this thing to me. It's like, yeah, because that's what you manifested. You manifested shit to go wrong by be, by being in that fear frequency. This is why people often who ha will have not just one thing that happens that they don't, you know, it'll be a series of things. It's like one thing happens and then it's, it's this domino effect because each thing's just bringing their frequency down, bringing their frequency down. So if we want to manifest amazing stuff we need to raise our frequency and we're at our peak frequency when we're orgasming so that means at that moment we're a match for peak frequency things and this is why also pleasure which is orgasm is the the channel through which everything manifests because pleasure is a peak frequency um, feeling right? Because when you are in a space of pleasure, like think about if you are having a massage and you're so relaxed and you can feel like that, oh, like that touch on your body. And it's like in that moment, you're just like, oh, everything feels so amazing. When you're in that space of relaxed, everything feels so amazing, relaxed pleasure, anything, everything feels possible, like it's like if you were in that space and and you imagine having a million dollars, you're not going to be like, oh my god, how the hell is that going to happen? You're going to be like, of course, a million dollars. Mm. It's it sort of takes us out of that critical mind that tells us that the things that we want we can't have. So when we're in orgasm, we're out of the mind, we're we're in the body, we're completely connected to source. And if we choose in that moment, which is also a very expanded moment, it's a very open moment, right? And to receive, to manifest, we have to have space for, to receive. If we're closed, there's, not, there's no way for that manifestation to reach us. So in that moment of orgasm, even if you think about the body that's opened up, you know, and you're not thinking about what your face looks like. You're not thinking about what your body looks like. You're not thinking about what you're going to eat for dinner. You're not, you're so present. You're so there in that moment. It's just you and love and that's it. And so that's why orgasm creates power, can create powerful manifestations when we choose to harness it. So in sex magic, what we're doing is we're setting an intention uh, for what we want to manifest. And then we're, we're spending time consciously opening the body and going very slow. It's not like you're thinking about the manifestation the whole time. Like you can set your intention, then put it to the side and then just spend time. Like either you can do it on your own or with a partner, like, you know, Kim's done and I've done, I've done it both by myself or with a partner. Either way is perfect. It's really powerful if you and your partner have the same intention and you do it together, that's double amazing. But even if not, so you wanna spend some time opening up the body, bringing more pleasure in, consciously opening yourself to receive more because the more pleasure you can hold in your body, the more pleasure you can hold in your life. And all of the manifestations that we want, the good things are pleasure, they create pleasure. If we're trying to rush to orgasm, if we're trying to get it over and done with, if we're feeling horny and we're just trying to ditch the energy by quickly coming, it's like you're telling yourself, I can't have this. 
like, oh, it's too much. I need it out. So you want to consciously be focusing on building, 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 holding more and more and more and more and more pleasure. And then when you get to that peak moment where you're like, okay, I'm truly ready. That's when you bring your manifestation back in. That's when you bring your intention back in. And you're like, this is what I'm creating with this orgasm reach to orgasm and then afterwards lay back and receive because a lot of times what people do after they orgasm is they close back down they they're open and then they're like let me go have a shower or okay let's get on with our day or start talking about something or whatever so the more time you can spend sort of almost in a meditative space like after the orgasm like super relaxed body open allowing yourself to continually keep opening to that manifestation keep visualizing it keep feeling it that's where you're really touching the quantum field where you're you and your manifestation are becoming one and the quantum is the space of no time so that means all things are happening all the time so when we connect into the quantum we're pulling something into this time so it can be instant right we can have instant manifestation 